What is up guys, it's Freeman Rat here and welcome to episode 2 of my Road to Glory series on FIFA 12 Ultimate Team. We start this episode by buying ourselves a Buketti. Um he plays for um, Ruben Kazan and he came straight into the squad, that is what the squad was looking like before we jumped into our first game of the episode. Against this guy, he took an absolute age to ready up and that is my phone, hopefully you didn't hear that, it's going to really annoy me, I'm going to turn that off. Um, he took an age to ready up and then eventually when he did he had an all championship squad with Beckford and Zavon, Zavian Hines, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure he plays with Burnley anyway. But anyway, there he is, Hines went through and you see those goals go in all day every day in real life like across the keeper but in FIFA it's quite hard to do so fair play to him, it was a decent finish. And then Keith Fahey of all people to score a header from like the penalty spot there, I don't know what defender got beaten in the air there but he really shouldn't. Then... We went 3-0 down, Akin Fieve was looking a bit suspect from the corner. The thing with him is he's really short, I think he's like 5 foot 10 or something, so he's not great when you're bringing him out from corners. And at this point we were 3-0 down, and uh, luckily Martins um, put, pulled one back for us uh, shortly after. Then pretty much straight from the kickoff, we could smell blood, the morale was with us. So a nice little 1-2 between Dumbia and Martins. Martins went through and I had to make sure that this went in to give us any sort of chance of coming back into the game. So that made it 3-2, but unfortunately we did then concede another goal, Hines went through again, I thought maybe he's going to tramp it or hold it up or something, but fair play to him, he took around the keeper and an easy finish, slotted home past Akinfeev and that made it 4-2. And then straight from the kickoff, we don't know, just lost concentration, they hit us with both barrels as, as Martin Tyler would say. So Burke, I think it was, um, played a nice little 1-2 with Beckford and Burke went through and finessed it home to make it 5-2. We did manage to pull one last goal back with Dumbia. It was late on, so the game was pretty much over. We just tried to get as many coins as possible. It went through. I wouldn't usually tramp it, but I tried to get back into the game, but unfortunately we didn't anyway. And that is how it finished 5-3. You can see there Martin's getting a hat-trick. That guy wasn't great, but his team was pretty good. I mean, like if you've got, like me, if you've got pace up front, you're going to do well pretty much all day long, and my centre-backs aren't great. Then... We jumped into our second game of the episode, and fuck me, was this guy annoying. He had five at the back, and I just could not break him down. As you can see there at half time, there was no chances in the first half. We had eight shots and four shots on target. We were dominating possession a little bit. I think it was like 55%, so we weren't really taking our chances. But straight after half time, I had to make sure that went in as well. Otherwise, we would have fucking probably lost the game. But Martins went through, slide at home, lovely to make it 1 0. And then we had to take Dumbia out because he was injured. Um, so the replacement for him, Antoni. Anton each, whatever you, however you pronounce that, made it 2 0, and that is how it finished. As you can see, the guy really wasn't great. He, it just took me ages to break the deadlock, but once I did, I got two quick goals to finish the game. We then went and bought ourselves a Danny who plays for Zenit St. Petersburg, and then after that, we came back to the squads and we found that we had loads of healing. Like a couple of players were injured and we had some contract issues, but luckily we had Walsh, um, who was a bronze striker. We put in up, put him up in in up front, and we had a bronze and silver contract who we just stuck on Buketti and uh, Akinfeev. And then we jumped into our final game of the episode. Um, this guy well, really wasn't great as well. 38 chem. He had like Matt Derbyshire and some other English English um, players, but I'm not 100 percent sure what they're called. But anyway, early on, Dumbia went through. 12 minutes is that gone? Yeah, Dumia went through and finessed it home lovely to make it 1-0. And there's some great hold-up play from Walsh. And then Dumbia's electrifying acceleration and great strength told off the last defender there. Slide it home. That is what 79k or whatever, whatever amount I bought him for buys you. Then, as you can see, Walsh is getting in the action again. But this time, he was taking a fucking early shower. Going to have an early bath, sunshine. Paul Walsh. I think it's Paul anyway, but he got himself sent off. Yeah, fair play. It was a red. I don't know what I was doing. And that made it 2-0. And then Dumbia pretty much finished the game before half-time, grabbed his hat-trick, 45 minutes gone, just about to blow for half-time, and he finished at home, and that made it 3-0. Uh, so then my PVR fucked up again, didn't show him scoring, but on like the 72nd minute, this guy was thinking, I've had enough, so I'm just going to quit. Um, as always, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you've enjoyed, then please hit the like button. We got 19 likes on the last video, so it got really good feedback. And if you're new to my channel, then subscribe. And apart from that, hopefully, I'll see you guys on my next episode. Bye.